Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's been a long time since I sat in front of the camera and talked. So why I'm doing it this today? Because yesterday, that is 28th of December, NMC released a guideline book. It consists of nine pages and they upload it on their official website regarding Next. So I will try to explain what I had understood from that nine page document to you guys. So without further ado, let's start the video. Let's look at the chapter one of this notification in the chapter one they have given the title that is this is a notification for national medical council national exit test regulation that is next regulations for 2022 and they have said that it'll be coming in the publication in the official gazette and all so then they have given some uh, full forms of the short forms that will be used throughout the document and then there is objective so in the objective that they have said that the objective of this regulation is to bring in uniformity in the summative evaluation across the country with reference to the minimum common standards of education and training of a medical graduate so they just want to make sure that whoever is passing out as a doctor in india has a level of knowledge and expertise and that will be set by the nmc and everybody will off will be off same level and like uh, if you take now like at aims a topper will be getting like 80 percent mark but in a state college it will go as high as 95 percent so why is there a mark difference because in the way the examination is kept the question paper is set and the way the faculties are evaluating the paper so that won't be there anymore once next comes into being so if a person is having 55 percent in next then he'll be same as another person who is getting 55 percent in the next doesn't matter whether he, where he has studied so that is what they are trying to win. bring a uniform standard for all the medical graduates in the country whether they are from aims whether they are from a state college government college or whether they are from a private college so that's there i hope you guys already knew this now let's get into the other things that are said in this notification so in the next session that is 1.4 it is marked as and it's called as general so in that they have told that it will be conducted by an authority which will be appointed by this nmc and they will be conducting next and they have also told that this next examination will form the basis for certifying the eligibility of a medical graduate to practice modern medicine in india uh, whether they are from india or whether they are from outside india so they are basically saying that fmg exam will be cancelled and all foreign medical graduates will have to appear for next they have to clear this and that's how they will get a permanent registration for working in india then and they have also told that next will be used an entrance examination to pursue various um, postgraduate um, courses in india and then in the next point they have told who these will be applied to so this will be applied to all undergraduate students then all foreign medical graduates and in the third point third point is little complicated it looks a little complicated to me i don't know who that is applicable to so in the third point they have mentioned that any other person with a medical degree for purpose such as pursuing an academic course observership or any other purpose as may be specified and approved by nmc through the notification or regulations from time to time so basically if you want to pursue some other course also that is related to this medicine then if you are having a medical degree if you are using that medical degree as your ug degree then you need to have passed next so that's what i think it is meaning and then in the fourth point they have told that the commission will determine from time to time how the scores of next will be taken for postgraduate admi admissions and they have told her it will be a common counseling by our designated authority also then in the fifth point 
they have told what we all have been anxious for especially my batchmates and my immediate juniors and seniors so they have told in the fifth point that it is implied that whenever the next is in force the corresponding equivalent existing examinations shall be phased out or cease to be applicable for the purpose for which next shall be appropriate so the examinations that they are referring to here are one fmg exam so because next will be giving the license so that exam is out of the picture only next will be there then need pg and inacet because they all come under nmc all the institutions so postgraduate admission into those institutions will also come under next and those examinations will be phased out and they have also told this in the fifth point however if for previous batches the existing examinations are applicable as may be decided by the commission central government state government universities applicable laws and rulings then the existing examinations shall continue for such time as may be appropriate with the under standing that the next shall be eventually replace the corresponding equivalent existing examinations the use of scores and normalization of different examinations and the next when applicable concurrently for such purpose as may be appropriate shall be determined as when necessary and notified by the commission so basically there are a lot of grammar mistakes in that paragraph but apart from that what they have told here that so for a point or period of time next and need will coexist together so if it is necessary they will keep both next and need together and they will try to find a method to normalize the scores of different examinations so so what this means is that like if they have written different examinations like both need and next where their uh, year for admission into postgraduate courses then they will try to normalize the scores of both of them so that a person getting a particular score in neat will be like equivalent to uh, another particular score in next so that a uh, rank will be given according to that score and they will go to whatever specialty that they get depending on that mark on that like equalized mark so that's what happens in uh, in iset also like two sets of papers were there this time and like they found a normalized score and with that they were putting the rank list so similar thing will happen for this also that's what they have told but it is not necessary that this happens they have just given this provision for this so another thing i want to say is this notification is not the final notification this notification is uh inviting a lot of uh, feedback from different state universities institutions and other official bodies all over the country so they have to give their inputs within 10 days that's the whole purpose of this notification so they the nmc want to know whether this is a viable Uh, what viable method of conducting this next and what are the problems that they will be facing they want to know that that's why they have put this notification and uh, everybody will be giving their feedback and there'll be a lot of changes in this i suppose so that's all they have given in the first chapter now let's go to the second chapter so in the second chapter it gives a broad outline about how next will be carried out as you all will be knowing there are two steps of next next one and next two and in this they have um defined what uh, next one and next two are and what kind of questions come in and all that so i will just try to explain that so first let's talk about next step one next step one shall be a theoretical examination Yes, no shit, Sherlock. It's a theoretical examination. You are not going to do practicals. So <laughs> that point was obvious. Then the question shall be one or more than one type of multiple choice type. So the questions may be one or more than one type of MCQ. What that means is that, like, you can have match the following, filling the blanks, maybe multiple co- answers correct. That kind of questions can be there or. just one plain simple mcqs may be there so that's what they have told then the examination shall be delivered by a computer based or online mode so what they mean by this is you won't be filling out omr sheets for writing this exam you will be sitting in front of a computer and this shall be a centralized common all india examination to be conducted by an authority or body or authority for the purpose by the commission 
so this will be conducted by a centralized authority all over india it won't be like so it won't be like aims bhuvneshwar so will be conducting um, examination for aims bhuvneshwar and aims delhi will be conducting for aims delhi no it will be every single um, institute that comes under in the nmc will be uh, for all of them the examination will be con- conducted by a centralized authority then they are talking about what are there in this uh, next examination part 1 so the examination shall consist of six papers covering subjects of third mbbs slash final mbbs both part 1 and part 2 so they are basically saying everything that you read in third year and fourth year will be there so now let's see what those subjects are medicine and allied discipline surgery and allied disciplines obstetrics and gynecology pediatrics otorhinolaryngology that is ent then ophthalmology and abs- applied aspects of all subject covered under first mbbs and second mbbs applied aspects of all subjects covered under third mbbs or final mbbs part 1 so they have told that there are six subjects and there will be six papers i will come into that later so these all these are the subjects and they will also include applied aspects from first year like you know for end you see like they will ask about facial nerve so this facial nerve whatever you have studied in anatomy in first year they will ask about that in end about facial nerve so it's not like you you don't have to study anatomy physiology you need to know the applied aspects of those basic subjects then they keep on talking about who are eligible to write the examination they told that everyone who has completed third mbbs or final mbbs course from a medical college recognized by the nmc shall be eligible to appear in the examination and then in the next point they have told that next will be held once a year and it will be just before the practical examination by the university or college or whatever it is so you can't just go into internship by just writing next and passing next you have to also pass the practical examination which will be conducted by your college or your university medical university so what that means is that you will have practical exams like you your seniors had been having and you had been having all these years so there is no escaping that you just give next and after the next is over there will be a practical examination where you will give you will take a uh, history and you will present the history you will uh, have vivas and all that all that same thing like all thing so that is that will be there so you have to pass that also and i think like if you have passed next one step one then you will definitely be passing this because it is being conducted by your own college and your own professors and unless you have like you had been a really bad student and you had been pissing your professors off every single day then they have also told that there will be a next step one supplementary examination and it will be held on say year and is restricted only to candidates who have failed in one or more of the six papers and are required to repeat those particular papers or subject so what they are meaning here is that there will be a supplementary examination it's not like if you fail next then you have to write next year you can uh, try for the supplementary examination if you have failed in some papers so they have not told in how many papers like they have told that one or more papers but they have in put a upper limit for this but i strongly feel that there will be an upper limit for this if you pass if you fail for more than three papers three subjects then i don't think you will be allowed to write the supplementary examination i strongly feel so and there will be some clarity regarding this later on so that is over now now let's go to the next point those who do not pass both the next step one regular okay yeah, no shit shall log again like if you don't pass supplementary examination then you write it next year like regular uh, next examination this is what has been happening in our college for all these years so it's not a new thing to anyone you either pass in the first time or you pass in supplementary if you don't do that then you write it with other people next year so if you fail that also whether you will go to supplementary i think you will be going to supplementary they have not told anything about that in this notification so that is there now let's go to the next point there is no restriction to the number of attempts to appear in next step 1 provided the candidate has passed both next step 1 and next step 2 examination within 10 years of joining the mbbs course so what this point means for all of us is that uh, you have to write if you are a 2020 batch student 
so you have till 2030 to pass both next step one and next step two now let's look at the next point in the next point they have told that there is no restriction to number of attempts to appear in next step one regular examination to improve scores provided these examinations for improvement of scores are taken at least after one year of completion of next step two so i have a lot of doubts regarding this point so like imagine a 2020 batch student who is writing next step one in 2024 december will give his or her next step two in the february of next year that is 2025 february will they will be giving next step two so if it is like that then according to what they have told then they won't be eligible to write the next step one which will be happening in the december of 2025 they will only be writing next step one in the next year that is 2026 of uh, 2026 uh, december so basically a uh, 2020 batch student who has written next step one in december of 2024 will only be writing next step one to improve his or her scores in 2026 december so that's what this point means according to what i could infer from what they have told so this timeline which i have told they have uh, mentioned in the last page so i will come to that also maybe in the next video because it's already been a very long video so i will try to finish this chapter at least in this video then in the next point they have told that the next step one shall replace the conventional university of Insti- Insti- university or institutional theory examinations of third mbbs or final mbbs part 2 third mbbs or final mbbs part 1 and third so they have then told that final mbbs part 2 practical or clinical examinations shall continue to be held conventionally unless otherwise notified by the commission just like i have told before like you will have your practical examinations of your final year uh, and third year like maybe combined they will conduct like uh, in the final year after giving the next because ent and ofta also they are including in this so that those practicals also might be happening in th- after the final year so this is how it was happening for us till our batch in our college we didn't have a third prof our ent of the and even community medicine was in final year and we gave the practicals also in final year so for our college this is not a new thing they'll be able to handle it so for other people i don't know whether they will conduct the practical of this third year subjects in third year or after the next only in the final year so that we have to see and it will be notified by the commission later on so they have not made it clear but this is what i'm thinking will happen that all the practical examinations of the exam that you are giving in next that is all the six subjects those practicals will happen uh, one month after giving this next step one that is in final year only not in third year so that's all now they are going to talk about next step two in this and then they will be talking about Uh, how this course will be utilized and there are uh, some things that you need to consider when you go for that and i think i will stop the video here and i will uh, talk about the scores and everything and about next step 2 and the general information that they have given in the end everything that i will make uh, another video and i will talk about all those things in that video because this video is already pretty long so if you guys want to see that video then just comment down below then so that i will have some motivation to make that video so that's all for now and most probably i'll make the video next daily because a lot of my juniors are having lot of doubts regarding the same so that's all for now see you guys in the next video stay subscribed and ring the notification bell so that you will know when i'll be uploading that second part So that's all for now. Bye till we meet again.